going to protect me from all the junk out there. Oh, hang on a second. My, my buddy James, he works for his own alarm. I think he's going to be out of a job. He's a developer. I'm going to ask him about it. Hold on. I'll call you back. Jory, I got to tell you a few things. Now, Windows 7 comes with an inbound firewall. Yeah, it can protect awesome. It'll protect you against that, but you need outbound protection as well, and that's not on by default. Zone alarm. Wait. Can you just draw a picture? I'm not oh, following. Oh, right. Here we inbound, go. Outbound. Let's say this is your computer. I follow that so far. Good. You've got the applications you run. Web browser, is that an application? That's right. Okay. Then you've got the operating system down here. You just might get some malware on your computer someday. Virus, spyware, and right. all that stuff, yeah. Okay. They're going to take care of that, right? Windows 7 got it down. Let me tell you a little something. You've got the internet, and you are used to the protection yeah. from the internet. You've got the firewall protecting you against that. Windows 7. Right. But when you have Zone Alarm on there, you've got the outbound protection as well. And you've got the OS firewall, a specialized level of protection, so that if you've got malware, we're protecting the operating system from any trouble here. It's keeping your computer safe. So Windows 7 just has this layer here, but if you've got malware on your system already, it doesn't protect you. Right. Zone Alarm is going to do that for you, so you're going to be safer. Okay. All right, well, what about browser security? I hear that all your threats on your computer are coming in through the browser, the viruses, the spyware. IE8 is supposed to rock. Okay, Jordy. Now, IE8 is an improvement. It has security protections in there. It'll look for malware sites and yeah. downloads. But those things change every day. There's new sites. There's thousands every day. And if you want to be safe, you want Zone Alarm's force field. Let me show you the browser here. If this is... Internet Explorer running over here. The new eight, yeah. Right. Well, we're going to be keeping up to date and current on all the malware sites that are out there. And you're going to be protected against drive-by downloads and drive-by drive -by download. Right. That's when you go to a site and through no fault of your own, something gets downloaded onto your computer. Well, you and don't you, even know it? You didn't do anything to know to have that happen. Okay. So we're going to be keeping you safe from that. And browser exploits because there are lots of people out there trying to break your browser and get into your computer and track what you're doing. So this is Zone Alarm? Force Field. It comes Force with field. Zone Alarm okay. Extreme Security Suite. All right. So it's, can I borrow your marker? Go ahead. So there's stuff coming to your browser and the Force Field like deflects it. Is that what you're saying? We're keeping you safe. We're going to stop those malware sites. Okay. That sounds cool. Now what about uh, virus, antivirus? Like I hear that Windows you 7. You still need protection even with Windows 7. Yeah. Microsoft always recommends that you have antivirus running. And there's... Your zone alarm has that too. Yes, we have that too. And there's new viruses every day, thousands of them. And we stay current. You'll have your daily updates, and that's what you need. It takes a long time for Microsoft to put out an update to the operating system, but viruses come quickly. So when you're protected okay. with antivirus, you're safe. All right, so Windows 7 is an improvement. But you still need zone alarm you to keep you safe. still need it. The perfect complement. And you still have a job. I do. All right. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome.